All right, so we're going to blast through this one and maybe do an outro afterwards if we actually fucking finish, because uh, it's one of those poems. Okay. This one's titled, uh, Poets Canned Uncanny, and it goes, Poets paste paint on predetermined papers, while bankers lease slight drafts to the ones that never repay their fathers or great fathers, or the hereditary genealogy hegemony that are dead. Pilsner Ale is a contagious sale, because most inconvenience owners drink such ale as well. There exists a memory fog, or remembrance bog, in the minds of men who do not listen to their mother's other brother that failed to do anything right. The other brother succeeded at getting all things wrong. Therefore, he belongs at the base of the pyramid's base because his ununderstanding was without the defining darkness of dim doubt. Which, back to the previous poets, brings us this palpitated presentation of preposterous presumption in such that, to kill a kiln, one must become a coyote of clay. But that word wrap must not be confused with the rationale that all existence can be reused. Allow me to relate to you the story of canned ham. A can canned himself because he was full of ham. Then another can came and took the can of canned ham and wrapped them all in tin. And so became the poet saying, a tinned can of ham I'm in. There are other cannings that can't connotate more meaning, but those are meant for massless meeting. Thus, poetry postulated perfection onto penciled paper. Not so, though most poets agree. There must be some meaning. But paper is just power, as is a pointed sword. So one, why was, must one deflower that which they have sworn? Well, silly is simple, and soft is dimpled, as the drought we all receive. But when that is applied to those that divide, sulking from sulfur, there is no worse endeavor, as undertaking that which takes more eating or beating, as the can of hand that tend the poet of man to be uncanny. And that's the... Uh, a very actually clean version of that poem because uh, we got to the ending before we really started completely fucking up. And that'll be the, uh, the end of the wayside. We, uh, we'll get to do a, a makeover, a resurface on Mr. Chalkboard since he's been up there and so lonely. But that's okay. He'll get over it. It's uh, Mr. Chalkboard. He wants to wear a tuxedo, but I won't give him one. Instead, I give him aliens and stars. Poor bastard. And uh, we'll have an, a nice outro a conclusion for the wayside and that'll be it so hope you guys enjoyed so far later <laughs>